On Hebbity Way, uh, stage nine on Moor section, uh, just by a bridge, gonna, um, just uh, filling up uh, some, on some water, some running low on water, and I'm gonna filter it with the uh, Sawyer filtering system. Um, so this is kind of a review for Sawyer, uh, the Sawyer filter at the same time. None of my reviews I've uh, been paid for, by the way, or I've not been given any uh, freebies. This is stuff I bought, bought myself, so it's not like an advertisement. It's just a, it's just a re honest review, really. Um, I've used this. Well, not I've got a new one now. I've had one for about two years before this, before it all got bunged up. But I used it loads, and I, to be honest, I didn't clean it. So it would have lasted longer if I kept maintained it, which you're supposed to do. But um, yeah, it lasted a long time. Always try and get really fresh water if you can, flowing water. I mean, you can use it on stagnant water as well, but if you can, you really want to get fresh moving water like this. The higher up the hill, the better really, the more fresher. I mean, some people will say you don't even need to filter it. You can drink straight from it. But there's always a chance of a dead animal upstream and shit, bird shit and all that kind of crap. So, uh, so yeah, this is the Sawyer. Um, but, like it screws onto a regular bottle. Most bottles this will fit onto the standard size bottle screw top. Um, and I find it easier using this than the actual bag it came with. It came with um, this is to clean it out. By the way, back back wash it. There's a little straw as well, which is there. Put that on there and backwash the the filter to backwash it. And this is what it came with. You put the water in here and put this on there and squeeze it. But um, I have that as a backup if I don't have a bottle. But um, I just I find the plastic bottles a lot faster and quicker. You you can um, yeah, let's put that back on. You can use it to um, drink straight from the river as well, like a straw, which I've done. But um, I want to carry some water with me, so because I don't know if there's a water any more, what in the way of water sources are on the way. I'm sure there are, but you never know. Um, sometimes there's not. So I've to take that risk. So I carry two liters of water. Uh, so got that. So squeeze a little bit out, get any dirt out or whatever. Now I've like I said, I've used it loads of times, and. Um, I've never had any problems, I've never had any stomach aches or anything like that after using it. I've, I've also, I've even used used it on uh, some pretty dubious water sources and been fine. I've not added any extra treatments. But you can you can add extra, boil it as well if you want and chlorinate it if you're that paranoid. But I find this is enough. Um, there are some things it won't filter out though. I think it doesn't filter out like like uh, paraffin or something like that, or fuel, some fuel. Like if there's like a fuel, like a oil or something in the water, it doesn't filter out that side kind of thing. I don't think. Um, you have to check on that. I don't quote me on that. That's just what someone told me. It might be wrong. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's it's not. Like, I, like I've cleaned it before I came away. I've used it a few times, so I should probably back, back wash it to clean it. And it's obviously the cleaner it is, the faster it is to squeeze the water out. When it starts to get dirty, it gets, starts to get uh, slower. But it's pretty fast. Like, um, see, uh, you have to keep letting the uh, pressure letting the air out and doing this so you can keep I don't have to keep going back to the river to fill it up now this is um, a litre I'm doing in this bottle in this uh, water bottle I got so yeah before you get the, a water bottle like this to fit on it make sure that it does actually fit on it because there are some water bottles it doesn't fit on I've noticed so you don't want to be in the middle of nowhere find out that it doesn't actually fit your water bottle 
Um, one one thing is you can't um, use this in um, winter because um, the cold, um, if it gets ice in it, it just damages the water filter and it render it useless. So, but almost done. When you've most to the top, you will notice that it doesn't actually filter out the, the like in this has got peat tannin in it. It doesn't actually filter out the tannin. It's still it's still like got that tannin colour. <laughs> so I hope the filter's working, but I'm pretty sure that's okay. But um. Yeah, you'll still find it get you got the brown sort of like tannin. Obviously it passes through the it's tannin is so small it passes through the filter. Right, now. Yeah, safe to drink. Tastes fine. The only thing is with a water filter is um not only does it filter out all the, you know, like, bugs and all that, it filters out, uh, it does filter out some chemicals and stuff, so, I believe, some contaminations. So it's actually better in it using, like, chlorine, chlorine tablets, chlorine's horrible anyway, and, but the, the benefit with boiling is you don't lose the minerals, so you get to keep the minerals and get rid of the bugs with boiling, but you don't get rid of chemicals with boiling. So it's like, you can always add your own min mineral tablets though to the water after filtering it. So I think if you want minerals, filter the water, then add a mineral tablet afterwards. I think that is the best way to go for uh, if, for good quality water. So yep, yeah, that's water filtering. Hope you enjoyed my video and stay tuned.